The U.S. Navy's future aircraft carrier, the John F. Kennedy, is revealing signs of its immense power, not by launching jets, but by flinging huge loads off its deck into the nearby James River. These tests are part of the process to ensure the functionality of the electromagnetic aircraft launch. System EMALS This cutting-edge system using strong magnetic fields and electricity replaces traditional steam catapults. The EMALS propels bright orange car-like structures off the carrier's bow at speeds of up to 150 miles per hour. These dead load tests gradually increase in weight, reaching up to 80,000 pounds ensuring the system's readiness to launch manned aircraft. Each load structure painted safety orange is signed by the shipbuilders and their families hurtled down the EMALS path. These structures reach top speeds necessary to get even the heaviest carrier-rated aircraft airborne. The EMALS system offers several advantages over steam catapults. It is more compact, taking up less internal volume in the ship and provides a smoother ride for pilots. Additionally, it can more easily adjust power levels to launch smaller, lighter aircraft like drones. The Navy projected EMALS could generate 33% more sorties a day. Despite its rocky development, the EMALS system has matured significantly. In mid-2023, General Atomics was awarded a contract to provide EMALS for the future USS Doris Miller and France's next-generation aircraft carrier, known as PANG. The John F. Kennedy is slated to be commissioned into the fleet in 2025, joining the Gerald R. Ford Enterprise and the future USS Doris Miller. As the Navy replaces older Nimitz-class carriers, it plans to expand its fleet to at least 10 Ford-class carriers. The future of naval aviation is accelerating, and the John F. Kennedy is at the forefront showcasing the cutting-edge technology that will define the next generation of aircraft carriers.